Uh, I forgot to mention about this slide in the previous uh, lecture. Uh, uh, reorder point. In terms of reorder point, we we need to consider two situations. One is the reorder point without safety stock, because usually safety stock is a very important factor uh, in the, the inventory situation. But we can consider reorder point without safety stock. So R equals just daily demands times lead time in days. But when we include the safety stock, we just you know. We have to just you know combine the safety stock. There is the formula for you know calculating safety stock, but we don't cover this in this uh, uh, chapter. So just simply you have to understand that if there is no safety stock, we don't have to use it. But if there is a safety stock, then we have to really add in, add on, add in uh, along with this uh, uh, reorder point. Okay. So when you sum up uh, economy order quantity or Q or optimum order quantity equals square root 2 times D times S divided by H. And then assuming that there is no safety star, our reorder point equals daily demand times lead time in days. Okay. Having said uh, these formulas, let's consider EOQ problems. These problems are uh, located in the D2L chapter website. So look at this situation where satellite uh, imperium example. Then question is uh, what is EOQ? Or how many using the EOQ model how many should weigh order each time? So optimum order quantity. So we have to uh, think about formula first. Then what is the annual demand? What is the you know, ordering costs and what is the holding cost. This, these components need to be uh, identified in this problem. So annual demand here is the thousand unit, right? Annual demand and then ordering cost or setup cost, these are the same term. Ordering cost or setup cost, which is S equals $25, right? Each order cost $25 to place. And holding cost or storage cost equals the thousand dollar, right? Each cost to uh, carry one unit is uh, hundred dollar. Each component need to be plugged in. So scale load two times thousand times twenty five divided by hundred, which lead to scale load five hundred. We need to round the answer to the nearest whole number. So 22.36 can be wound down into 22 units. In this case, we need to really be careful. This is the 22 units, it's not 23 units. If uh, our EOQ is the 22.56, then answer would be 23 units. Okay? Otherwise, you know, that's the 22 unit. So EOQ is the 22 unit order. That's the uh, number of unit to uh, minimize your total cost. Look at the second uh, problem. This is the GL shop, job shop problem, and there are two different items in this uh, uh, company: the annual demand and holding cost. Holding cost is not exactly shown, but it's a percentage of item cost. So our item cost is the given. So just we can multiply this 20%, which is 0.2 times 10. That's the your holding cost. And setup or order cost and lead time and safety stock is given. As I said, if safety stock is given, then you need to just add in to the your uh, reorder point. So the question is asking what is the reorder quantity and reorder point for tag to you this particular item. And you round your answers to the nearest whole number. First, we need to know the component of we order quantity is simply asking the EOQ, uh, component of EOQ, uh, annual demands, and the set of order cost and holding cost. So we are given here. So we can find out EOQ with the square root 2 times 20,000 times. 150 divided by 2. 
because holding cost is 20% times $10. So 0.2 times $10 is 2. Then we can have 1736, 32.05. When you round down, this is 1732 units. That's the your EOQ. And then in terms of reorder point, we can uh, we have to know the the D bar, which is the daily demands and lead time in days. So daily demand is the since annual demand is twenty thousand, we can divide by three sixty five days. That's the your daily demands and lead time is four days. So our reorder point equals. 20,000 divided by 365 times 4, which is 219.18. So we round down, so our answer is 219 units. So based on these two, EOQ and reorder point, we can set up our inventory policy, which is our inventory, uh, inventory policy is when the inventory position drops to 219 units, we place order for 1732 unit more. When you draw this uh, into this uh, graph, then okay, so our reorder point, uh, I mean, economy order quantity, we order our EOQ, so we have now 1732 unit. Then we use up our inventories, when inventory reached to reorder point, which is 219 unit, then we uh, place order. After four days of lead time, inventory goes up to EOQ, which is a 1732 uh, unit. Then inventory goes down, and when you reached out, we reached to the reorder point, we reorder. So after the four days of lead time, inventory goes up to 1732 unit. So that's the fixed order quantity. So this uh, pattern is repeated. That's the EOQ. Okay.